Welcome to The Know. I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Gray Haddock. Well, it's official. It's time to leave this planet behind. What? Well, look, it is a really nice planet and everything, particularly the um, sandy bits near the oceans, mm -hmm. and the food is awesome. Well, that's too bad, guys, because uh, well, Stephen Hawking says that we've got to go, or else we'll all die. Yeah. Well, he's full of fun predictions. Yeah, well, interestingly, this time, this time, it's not doom or gloom because of robots or anything. This time, the enemy is us. Stephen Hawking made the comment while escorting a visitor around London's Science Museum when he said, aggression may have had survival advantage in caveman days, but now it threatens to destroy us all. A major nuclear war would be the end of civilization and maybe the end of the human race. So space travel is our best bet for survival. I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, you know, they say don't read the comments on YouTube for a reason. Which, by the way, I totally disagree with. But <laughs> in all seriousness, he says that space travel is a benefit, not just because, well, it would get some of the human race at least out of the giant blast zone. That's dark. Yeah, but it is. But it would also uh, galvanize the entire culture. I mean, it's done it before. I did it in the 60s when we had the whole big space race. Yeah. It brings us together. Nothing like some, you know, nukes just to make sure that everyone gets on the same page. Well, you Anyways. know, you gotta find a silver lining. <laughs> well, he said that uh, sending humans to the moon changed the future of the human race in ways that we don't yet understand. It hasn't solved any of our immediate problems on planet Earth, but it has given us new perspectives on them and caused us to look both outwards and inward. Well, it's a good thing we're aiming for Mars then, right? I mean, we've got uh, the real life Iron Man, Elon Musk, who said he wants to retire on Mars and <laughs> NASA is aiming to send a manned mission in the 2030s. And then there's the <clears throat> most likely to succeed of Mars One. Is that reality show? Yeah, this thing? is they're trying to build the human settlement on <laughs> Mars. Yeah, let's go ahead and give people a bunch of one-way tickets. No what problem. could go wrong? Yeah, so that starts in 2024. <laughs> Talking is not exactly an optimist when it comes to the future, though. Not only has he declared this new war on aggression, he's previously warned repeatedly that developing artificial intelligence so far will be the end of the human race because we won't be able to keep up with machine evolution. Which is a fair point. He's not necessarily saying that uh, that machines would kill us, which is generally what we think about because we've all watched way too much Terminator. <laughs> uh, but his thing is actually that uh, machines would out evolve us and we just couldn't keep up because we have to rely on stupid bodies. Yeah, but or then we, we just get robot bodies. Then we invite, we invent time travel well, then we go back and then we keep the Terminators from being built and then we don't have to have the problem anymore. Look, I don't know so. if you've seen Terminator, but that clearly doesn't work. <sighs> so what we can do instead is we're just gonna get a whole bunch of awesome, super smart robots that are gonna help us build space stuff. We're gonna take off, we're gonna go through a black hole, and then we're gonna yeah. And then we're gonna get a bunch of Academy Award nominations and not win most of them. All right, well, anyway, internet <laughs> comments aside, do you think aggression is a big enough problem that we need to leave the planet for it? Or is that just really a good excuse? Let us know in those comments that we are not supposed to be reading. It's a really good excuse. <laughs> Remember, you get the very best in video games, entertainment, technology, and science right here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel, and we'll keep you in the know.